design, I would like to explain one important aspect in doing discourse analysis that is about sources of discourse data. And I would like to remind that discourse analysis is one of the techniques in doing data analysis in the qualitative research design. So when you have chosen qualitative design for your research, you can choose discourse analysis as the way to analyze your data. Okay, as I explained in the previous video, discourse analysis is the study of talk and text. Talk here can be taken from spoken interaction, for example, speeches, lectures, or dialogues, while for the written discourse, data can be taken from books, journals, articles, and many others. So, in doing discourse analysis, you will rely on two kinds of discourse data. They are spoken discourse and written discourse. Okay, let me show you examples in deciding the discourse data of your research. Number one is politeness strategies in the classroom setting. And number two is politeness strategies in the Facebook updates. You can see that the settings are very different. One is in the classroom setting and another one is in the Facebook updates. Remember, before you conduct the research, you need to know exactly about the theories of politeness strategies. Maybe you need to search references starting from Brown Levinson view about politeness strategies in 1987 and then you also need to search previous studies about politeness strategies in the last 10 or 5 years okay for the spoken discourse data can be taken from face-to-face -face interaction so all kinds of face-to-face -face interaction can be taken as discourse data for example, at home, the conversations among family members and in the office, conversations between the employer and the employees and in the campus, for example, the conversations between the lecturer and the students in the class or maybe when they have thesis consultation. Another source of discourse data in the form of spoken interaction can be taken from the telephone. So, all activities in the telephone, for example, you are making calls with your friends or with your teachers, can be used as discourse data. And another one is from mass media, such as from the television or the radio. So, all of the programs in the television or in the radio can be used as spoken data. For example, talk show of Mata Najwa or Hitam Puti or Indonesian Lawyers Club, all of those can be recorded and the data can be used for analysis. And for written discourse, data can be taken from any kinds of correspondence types. For example, you are using letters to communicate or maybe you are updating your status in social media, for example, in Facebook or Instagram. And also your chats in WhatsApp can be used as discourse data. Well, that's all about my explanation today about discourse data. Exactly, there are two kinds of discourse data. One is in the oral form or spoken interaction and another one is written discourse. So, when you see the topic politeness strategies in the classroom setting, the data that you need will be in the form of spoken interaction. You may go to the class and record the teaching activities in the class. But for politeness strategies in the Facebook updates, you will need to open the Facebook, see the updates there, and then you can screenshot the data in the form of a written discourse. Well, that's all about my explanation in terms of sources of discourse data. Exactly, there are two kinds of discourse data. One is in the form of oral discourse or spoken discourse. 
and another one is in the form of written discourse. In order to be clear, you can read the following books. Okay, that's all. See you again in my next video. Bye.